Okay. Hi. Hi. Well, Zeta was here, but he was just making his nightly tequila. And he, I heard like what sounded like from a movie when all the glasses shatter. <laughs> and uh, that was the sound effect. Oh, for you sure. Know, we, now there's a cleanup yeah, happening. We go mobile. Okay. Oh, at least he got some slippers on. Yeah, he was barefoot wearing yeah. his cool nail polish. Yeah. Which we have right here, by he the way. He was barefoot in the park. He's a pool, right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, now We're he's going. out there inspecting. We're stuff. going mobile. Okay, you can kind of see. Oh, wow. Can you see the glass? Was it one of the good glasses, though? It was a bunch of good glasses. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. There we go. <laughs> I'm not perfect, okay? <laughs> Everyone thinks I am, but I'm not perfect. So I broke some glasses. Okay? That's what they're for. That's why they use glass to make glasses, because they know that eventually you're going to do something stupid, and it's going to break. And what are you, you going to do about that? What you're going to do is buy more of their glasses. We know the tricks, okay? Otherwise, they'd make them out of iron. But you have one drink, Yeah. What's the other drink? Yeah. There we go. That, that's kind of the, what's left of it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a really good party line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's the statue that fell over. Ah. Uh, uh, here's the culprit. Yeah. Uh, the statue was holding the tree. Oh. Uh, This is a cherry tree. All right, from Barbados. You and George Washington. I was going to put it out in the sunshine, but actually, it's in the sunshine. Isn't it? All right. Well, All right. I'm going to get the chicken salt and boca happening while they clean up the drinks. Okay. Come with me. This is a recipe that Suzanne has made for you guys many times, and I thought Alan might enjoy having the taste of something familiar. So you start with a pounded chicken breast. I pounded these pretty thin, and you just want to salt and pepper them. And I salted I salted and peppered the other side as well. How great does that look? And then pepper. I can hear Danny saying, yum. Well, this was, yum. she um, had yum. something like this similar from Wolfgang Puck. And then, you know how when you make a recipe so much, it just becomes your recipe? So those of you who were with us all the way back in the summer size days um, will remember this recipe. I think it was in her first book. So this is fresh sage leaves. You just want to press these into the chicken. And I like to get a little on several of your bites. You want to come on this side, honey? Or are you okay over the there? The sage is so good. Good. Okay. So nice good. to have the whole family here. Uh, well, not the whole family, a but family. a few of us family. Usually it's, you know, maybe two of us, but we have three of us before Bunny came for the ride. Bunny has become quite an anxious driver. Do any she of you has. have dogs who don't like to drive? Um, she doesn't like the car. Do you think I can put her down? Um, she won't get over. As long as you watch that she doesn't go down oh, the yeah, stairs. Yeah. She I mean, never goes down the stairs. I mean, you can just hold her if you want and just be delightful next to me. Caroline is the best. I wish I had a daughter-in-law like her. Love oh, you, Caroline. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I wish. <laughs> yeah. I wish I hope, we were. I wonder who it's her nice of you to is. say I hope you don't have a daughter-in-law. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Currently. I was just saying that. <laughs> okay, this is oh, prosciutto. No. My grandmother and grandfather on my mother's side are from Parma, which is where you get the best prosciutto, the most, the wow. most famous. 
a lot of areas would disagree. Yeah. Prosciutto yeah. di panna is really. I, I mean, know, but is, a lot of areas they, they would fight in Tuscany, in Florence, they're like, oh, no, like the Fiorentina is better. Well, I do really love um, the Tuscan is prosciutto the Tuscan because it's, a, it's drier. It's drier. I've, I've I love, too. No I love a dry. Okay. This is the sweeter one. Too dolce. Okay, so you just press this into here. Okay. I'm almost Pressing. done. I'm almost done. All right. So I like to get a little prosciutto with every bite. So I do sometimes use two pieces or Where I just... Where is Alan? Hi. Here he is. He's recovering. <laughs> Hi. How's your feet? Oh. Now we can't see your uh, oh. toes. Look at those toes. Okay. Well, he can take off his shoes now that he's over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'm used to the idea of having painted toes now. Yeah. You know, once you have them, you can't do without them. Really? I, I guess so. No, really. Because otherwise your feet look boring. Without paint on your nails, boring. And I thought I was the only guy doing it. And uh, the first time I did it, which was what, two years ago, three years ago? I'm standing in line at the ice cream place in Malibu, and the guy in front of me, has his toes painted. So I'm not the only one. Okay. And what's great is not the two of you then did a drag show, right? A what? A drag show. A drag show? Yeah, <laughs> with your painted toenails. You know, we could do it. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the wind. That was another. Look at, the, tonight is, you know what? I think this is. Zanny <laughs> trying to get our attention. Uh, this plant here. It was the second time. Yeah. Was it a nice face? It looks like kind of a stand. Yeah. Alright, maybe we need to We're shut that. Okay, you can go back in the stand and sit with Zeta. Okay. I asked Michael to come in. And... <laughs> All right. It looks a little lonely. This is a different kind of show. Yeah. Okay, the other thing that's happening over there is we have roasted the butternut squash here. So this... You, you know, it? after we do two of these things, <laughs> you realize maybe we should close the door. Exactly. We see Zanny visiting. He are saying. I think so. I think Zanny wants to be talked about a little bit. Yeah. She likes being talked about. All right. So maybe we're in for a story. Should we? There we go. Should we toast? Clearly, Zanny needs a toast. <laughs> okay, we hear you. <laughs> I was just Although, explaining, Alan, that I'm making uh, one of her dishes because I thought you might like to taste something familiar. Yum. You can't hear me. Yep. Michael, that's only the second time that happened. Exactly. Yeah. The, the third time, we have to do something about it. Yeah. You know what? I, I have some of that uh, museum wax. Okay. Do you want to talk about it now? The museum wax? Or you want to... No, I don't want to talk about it at all. I just thought I'd mention it to Michael. I have it in my office. Okay. okay. This is very nice, Al. I like this. Okay. What did you pour me? I don't remember. <laughs> They're saying that Zanny's holiday is coming up, St. Patrick's Day. What did she used to cook on St. Patrick's Day? Well, well first of all, on St. Patrick's Day, she used to call Patrick Duffy. Ah. It's his birthday. Oh, ah. wow. Oh, is this where I tell the St. Patrick's Day story, Carol? No, you tell that on Friday. Oh, I tell that on I'm We have two St. Patrick's Day shows. We have one on Friday where Bruce is going to talk about his Irish heritage. And then on Sunday, Leslie and Daisy are actually going to make the corned beef and cabbage recipe of Zanny's. Wow. And they're doing a St. Patty's Day show on Sunday. I'm going to post um, Suzanne's recipe for you guys on Saturday. In case okay. any of you um, want to make it. What happened? Well, when I went handheld, I unplugged it, but oh. it uses Whoa. for those mics. <laughs> oh. Whoa. We almost had number three. By the way, yeah. 
Uh, you were interviewed by someone, or, or asked him, I think you were at the film festival, and yeah. somebody asked you about, uh, um, they thought that mom got snubbed at the Academy Awards. And I have to say that your response was very, I hate to say mature, but it was like, it was a really nice response because she was a TV person and whatever they want to do, they can do. I mean, I know she did films. Well, she did a lot of movies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It just, I thought you had a really nice response. Well, it was either that. Or make a fuss. Or F, F you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Which is what we felt. <laughs> right, exactly. No, I thought, you know what? They're good. They're bait. They're, they were they baiting, were baiting me. Yeah. They said, how do you really feel? You're probably stunned and you're <laughs> outraged. <laughs> And I said, you know, the last time I checked, we still had a First Amendment. So it's up to the Academy if they're going to include Suzanne or not. And they didn't include her. Did they do it purposely? It doesn't matter. She was excluded from it. But she's never, she's never been a Hollywood person anyway, has she? They didn't put Norman yeah. Lear in it either. I yeah, they didn't do Norman Lear. They didn't do, uh, um, what's the the uh, Italian actor, young? Um, uh, he, I was about to say, he passed away this year. Of course he did, because he was. There were, there were a couple in there, it. There, there was some, something and Terrence something. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I thought, I thought was, you handled it well. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, that's the second time I've heard that. Okay. Zion told me that the first time. But it's, it, cause it's easy to take the bait. And Zanny has been remembered. Do you think if they would have said something to Zeta along the lines of, you probably don't care about that, do you? Do you think your response would have changed <laughs> just to be a contrarian? Right. They, just, they, they posed the question in the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing is... Uh, what Suzanne really loved were her fans, people who read her books, which were 90% women, and the media. She had a wonderful relationship with the media, and believe it or not, a wonderful relationship with the paparazzi. And she never, nor did I, ever understand why some actors or actresses, they hide from guys with cameras. What, like the pop, why? Especially if you're kind of trying to promote your career. Right, well, exactly. Well, you look bad, though? I mean, there, there are actors, these are big, big time actors, I won't mention their name, who are starring in major films. They own a piece of the back end. That's language for they money, part of the money, yeah, money comes in after they've done the film. And they don't want to do any promotion. They, they say things like, I'm an actor. I don't do promotion. That, that's called a dumb actor. Dumb. 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 dumb, dumb, dumb. Someone asked Daddy if he got a sunburn. <laughs> Every time. No, nope, I'm just naturally this red. He's just the, I'm just a red guy. He's Irish. <laughs> I wish. <Yeah. laughs> By the way, trivia? Yeah. Paparazzi is many. What do you call a single member of the paparazzi? A pop? Il paparazzo. Oh. Who knew? I oh. want to mention the deal. I never thought of it before. You know, uh, there was one papara paparazzo? Paparazzo. Paparazzo. Who was famous because he would park him. This was when there was like one paparazzi, right. one paparazzo. paparazzo, and he would park himself outside, um, uh, what's her name, um, she was first lady first when JFK was president. Oh, Jackie, uh, Jackie Onassis? Jackie Onassis, and he made Jackie her crazy, Jackie. he made her crazy. As soon as she'd come out of the apartment, he'd be there snapping pictures, and she should have just ignored it, but it turned into something else. Which was too bad. Well, wasn't Marlena Dietrich famous for being reclusive? Yeah. That makes sense. She yeah. was reclusive. Yeah. I think, I think Marlena... You could probably do a good Marlena Dietrich impression. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. 
Maybe. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> You know that they changed the national anthem? It's not Deutschland Deutschland. It's not? No. They've changed all the words. The same music? Same music. Really? Yeah. Uh, what are the words? I don't know. I just learned this like last oh, month. So I shouldn't be singing the one I know. Well, I think it's still Deutschland Deutschland. But I'm not sure if it's Uber Alles because... That means over everything. <laughs> above all. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know... Kind of has some negative connotations. Now. <laughs> yeah. Someone's well. asking about your nail, your toenail polish color, Zeta. Uh, toenail. What color is that? Is that this, this is, color? I think it's pool. What is that? It is pool. Pool? It's pool. The deal is 25% off site-wide at SuzanneSummers.com. Enter promo code CLEAN25. And you can get Zeta's nail polish color, Pool, for 25% off today. You know, they had little, little Caroline back there. How great is that? <laughs> you know, the, the, reason, the reason that I'm the only one here with painted toes is because everyone decided I have the nicest feet. Mm. Yeah. And they said, okay, you're going to be our model. So... I like all of these. Okay. By the way, in my lineage, yeah. i.e. my mother, yeah. not a tough competition to have the nicest feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have nice feet? She had nice feet. She just had really long toes. Oh. And I hang, inherited that. She could hang from trees. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah. I, she didn't she, need a tail. She I used to kid her about her feet all the time. <laughs> no. Yeah. Everyone's saying Caroline is much appreciated. She's cooking for everyone. Yes. Just yeah. so you know, Mom. It's okay. I know, even when you guys talk about the banging. Oh, hi. Hi, Caroline's here, too. Hi. When did Caroline arrive? I'm making your dinner. Uh, you know, Caroline puts these little cheat sheets out here for yeah. us. And last time I was here, <laughs> we didn't do so well. No. We didn't have the offer. The offer that, that um, we show you every time... The whole time people were saying, what's the offer? And we're like, we don't know. Well, we turned the cameras off and Alan reached into his back pocket and goes, oh, here it is. <laughs> what uh, is the offer? 25% off site-wide with the promo code CLEAN25. 95% off? Is that what you're giving everyone? site-wide. I'd like hey, to guys. give everything away. <laughs> the deodorant is back in stock. Oh, Deodorant. Wild orange vanilla. I know you guys have been waiting. We're getting a bunch of stuff back in stock. You guys have been buying like crazy, and we are we have the elves really busy at the organic toxic free factory <laughs> getting yeah. more product for you. By the way, if you haven't used this deodorant, it smells so nice to use this deodorant. It smells so good. Uh, I, I didn't know we still had it in stock. Oh, it's like it smells really nice. Like it, it smells like a creamsicle. And I use yeah. the I use the shaving gel. Yeah. I have a, a, a bikini cut. Okay. TMI, but go on. Wait, yeah. What? So I like to use our shaving gel. <laughs> it's very smooth. Okay. You won't cut yourself with it. At least I, I don't cut myself with it. Okay. <laughs> if you use AKA, you yeah. don't nick your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> We should do a, a shaving demo. Uh, after that comment, I'm not sure we're allowed to do that <laughs> on these platforms. Are you talking about your face? Mm, I wasn't thinking about my face. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What? What are they going to do to us? If you want to let the little guy go free, like, right? have at it. <laughs> They're the asking guy. to put the deodorant in the monthly box because people love this deodorant. Thank you for that suggestion. For Can me, I, it keeps me dry, personally. We're also getting that. And I, I, it also just smell I like the smell to me. I love our I, I love our toothpaste. Oh, I, I love, love the toothpaste. I love our too. toothpaste. Mm -hmm. And this is the toothpaste 
You know, most toothpastes, they have a warning saying if you uh, swallow even this much of it. Pea size. Yeah, call 911. We'll take you call to poison the poison control. Poison control. Poison control. Yeah. yeah. With ours, I could eat this whole thing. Yeah. Because there's no fluoride, there's no sulfates, it's real peppermint. By the way, it's not like the mint, like mint candy, it's real like peppermint that you would pick. And it's completely gluten free. So like if if there's nothing in the fridge and you're hungry, eat the toothpaste. <laughs> then have a shave. Exactly. They With your nuts. <laughs> you two are getting a lot of compliments. They love you guys together. Ah. They're saying you have to do a show, just you two, and be on it more often. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, well, we can do a show aside from this. Right. And then I can do the shaving demo. Exactly. Okay. And I'll be in the background going, hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime girl. I won't come that day. <laughs> <laughs> So the shaving cream... I forgot to shave today. Shaving Me too. Gel. Shaving gel, sorry. The shaving gel, uh, um, it's more than natural, more than organic. It's 100% toxic free. Now, if you use shaving cream, uh, um, and I'm not going to mention brands, uh, uh, it's very drying. And also, like in terms of convenience... When I travel, it's so much easier to travel with this mm -hmm. than a big tin can. Well, they don't let you travel with anything more than three ounces. What is that? Oh, that's four ounces. But I travel, I travel with like a small thing of it. It's oh. hard to find a travel shaving cream, you know? And, and it's not good for the environment. It's under pressure with floral carbons, I think. Uh, um, and it also, this complements the deodorant because it's the same flavor profile. I mean, this is wild orange vanilla and this is wild orange jasmine. Okay. So they're in the same neighborhood. Okay. Did I get that okay. right, Caroline? Sorry, I was reading on the internet how to unlock the wolf induction mm. cooktop because... <laughs> Caroline was paying no attention to no. us. Okay. That means she trusts us. No, it doesn't. <laughs> No, no, actually it does. No, she was ignoring us. Yeah. Well, there's that those too. Two, <laughs> those two buffoons are sitting there. I just figured you guys had it handled. Yep. Um, the, all I can say is that I get a closer shave from the shaving gel than I ever did from shaving cream. Let's take a look. Because it's slippery. <laughs> exactly. Slippery. Exactly. And when it's done, you almost feel like you don't need any moisturizer because your skin is so soft. Or in your case... You're nuts. Yeah. Shaving gel is really... <laughs> it's something that I think you don't need. So there are certain things that you give and take a little with your toxins and you choose certain right. places. Right. And it's one that I really just don't think is necessary at all. There's no have, loss. Yeah, there's no loss I agree. about having toxins. In the, like, you get such a close shave with the shaving gel, it's like, it's like nothing. I and agree. Also, it moisturizes your skin as you shave, and it gives you a really nice slip. So if yes. you are shaving your legs or your underarms or your bikini line, it, it, there, it, there's not um, irritation with it. It's really beautiful. Product. I agree. Very good. From someone Any irritation on your side? On the bikini line, no. Okay. No. There you go. No. If I want further This is, than by that, the way, new information for me. If I want it's TMI, that, but it's right. new. <laughs> if I went further than the bikini line, uh -huh. I think there'd be a problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah. And actually, I, I actually have had, I, they've had an experience like that <laughs> once before. I was only seven days old at this time. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I, I, I wouldn't have taken as much as they did. And they, and they didn't use shaving gel. No, no, no. <laughs> And I often or, wondered, I'm, should I, I say yeah, he didn't use yeah. shaving I, want, gel. I often wondered what they did with that thing. Right. Okay. I actually met there's a doctor in California. She's a in, I think she's an internist, and uh, her father was a doctor in Toronto, and he's the. This is the true story. I swear to you. <laughs> he is the guy who circumcised me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because he had, she had the same name, and I said, "You're from Canada, right?" And she said, "Yeah, I'm from Toronto." 
I said, is your father blah, blah? She said, yeah. <laughs> so I said, you know what he, you know, you're fine. She said, I already know. I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> she knew where that yeah. was going. Yeah, that was this thing. Yeah. By the way, I, it don't, don't people save that for um, down the road? Because it has your, uh, does it have, no, it doesn't have stem cells. No, no I'm thinking no. of the, when they cut your umbilical cord, right? What? You save that for stem cells. No, what they do with that is they plant it. And they grow guys like you. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what they call guys like you? Viral. <laughs> it's okay. like a, like a stalk of asparagus. Oh boy! Yeah, we're by, the, this. by the way, yeah. have you ever know? I didn't know this until maybe like a year or two ago. I did it. An yes. entire asparagus plant. Yeah. One asparagus. So when you get. A bunch of asparagus, mm. like a dozen asparagus. <laughs> is it asparagus? I don't know. It's paparazzo. It's paparazzi. Yeah. Uh, um, it is in Italian. It's what? Asparago. 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 Look at that. Each one of those is a plant. By it's true. Can you please so there are talk? eight plants. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? We're getting a request what? to talk a little bit more about the deodorant, please. Ah. Trying to use all of Suzanne's products. The deodorant. We love that, by the way. Wait, let me go to Caroline's cheat sheet because it's there's always good information. All, you know, my mother, oh. my mother never she had didn't have an editing machine. Okay? <laughs> she just said whatever was here came out of yeah. her mouth. And I remember when I was about good thing you didn't get that same cheat. No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was about twelve years old, I had a good friend Lawrence. You know, we were buddies, and it was summertime when we hung out, we were playing baseball and hockey and, you know, etc. And so one day, Lawrence and I are standing in my mother's kitchen, and it was August, and it was really hot, and she didn't have air conditioning, and she turned to Lawrence and said, Lawrence, do you know you stink? <laughs> you have to do it in her accent. Yeah, I just did. <laughs> your lymph Once. node too. Now, I have to tell you, I have a dear friend who wrote that jingle in the 60s for that uh, roll on. I'm not going to tell you the name of it, but it, he wrote the jingle for it. It was a big, it was a How major. How did the jingle start? Well, the, the big selling point in the jingle was aluminum chlorhydrate. Oh, I've never heard that. You haven't? No. Well, here, do you want to know what the roll on was? Sure. Wait, Dad. People used to, get, we used to get excited about ingredients like that when, when new things would come along. So the big corporations would get you excited about the ingredient and then they would say, our product has, right. sing it out, aluminum chlorhydrate. Okay. Ours doesn't. So we're going to sing that our product does not have that ingredient. So it is not an antiperspirant. It is a deodorant. It has natural deodorizers in it. Um, so it does combat odor. And with all natural botanical actives and things. Um, and then it also has a really nice scent in it. Not an overpowering scent. None of our products have artificial fragrance, but it just has a nice, fresh, wild orange jasmine scent. And it's just a little spritz. Thank you, Al. What were you doing there? Some people said something full about dis it. Full disclosure. Yeah. He was, he, was, he was adjusting things. Yeah. Oh. Uh, um, Making you prettier. Uh, that's hard to do, right? Why is he always... I forgot to shave Because today. he's Irish, Vicky. Pardon? Uh, <laughs> it's why I'm always red. <laughs> Every, apparently... She has a lot of things to say today, so... My uh, dermatologist said that I'm red because of sun damage as a kid. I think it's because I'm Irish. And, Either one and and, and some, some damage, yeah. yeah, but the reality is, is like it's who I am now. I actually yesterday was the first day I was able to lay out in the sun. It was so wonderful, wonderful. 
after last week when we had 100 mile an hour winds up here on the mountain. And I went out to see if our gate was flopping around and like destroying itself. So I thought, I'll fix that. Well, it was (laughs) stupid again to even go out in in that wind. It literally almost blew me off my feet. Wow. Twice. Crazy. I'm not wow. kidding. I weigh 170 pounds. I've never felt that sensation. Really? Feeling like I'm going to blow away? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I, mean, I have. You have? Where? Yeah. Where? Well, you realize, you realize Mother Nature is in charge. Oh, we're, yeah. we're not in charge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. At least so what we think we're in charge. Right. Okay. Right. Well, yeah, I'm in charge. No, we're not. Right. No, we're not. It's Mother Nature. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bruce, do you want to switch with Violet? I do. What he said, you? Bruce always looks good, and Alan, you look very cute. <laughs> Those are the types of comments we're getting. You know what, Violet? You can talk about the, um, the nail polish. The nail polish? Did, like, did you say that uh, the comments are that Bruce looks good and I look cute? Is yeah. That good and cute. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh. Yeah. There have been a lot of different ones. So there are a lot of different adjectives we could choose from. Oh, and they're obsessed with you. We get dashing. Yeah, we get, yeah. you look handsome. very handsome, Al. We're very proud of how you're dealing with all of this. Yeah. Suzanne oh. and Gloria Pesce. They're just more respectful of you because, you know, there's deference. No, we've jo- gotten a few jo- Joanne Langlo said, Bruce, tell them to F off. <laughs> <laughs> They joke around out of love. Don't worry about it. Yes, uh, we do. I know. So, I, no, I meant you and Bruce. I know you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, cool about these is that they're ten toxin free. So the top ten toxins that are usually used in nail polish, like we got formaldehyde, which is crazy. That's the stuff that they used to put on those frogs that we'd cut up in science class. That is going. I'll tell you something else they use formaldehyde. I don't know if they're still doing it, but I used to have an association with a large supermarket network. And they used to use a diluted solution of formaldehyde to spray on the vegetables to keep them fresher looking. That's crazy. But they said, well, it's not enough to kill you. Wow. I can't you know, believe you know that's the line. You know where else there's formaldehyde? Um, and I don't know if they still do it, but beer. They put really? from, Yeah. What is? Beer. Has, beer? Yeah. Historically? Or you don't I, know about right now? I don't. Probably not anymore. I think that would be. But um, I remember <laughs> um, after my grandfather stopped drinking, everyone used to say, God, he's still in great shape. And there was one doctor that said, well, there's a lot of formaldehyde in beer, so it preserved him. (laughs) So I don't know if that's true either. Well, even in small quantities, like just on your nails, that personally affects me. When I walk into a nail salon, I'm like, like, I won't do it. So Mm -hmm. formaldehyde's a crazy one. What's what's your favorite color here? I think for me it would probably change day to day, but I'd say today it's this one. Which one is Wisteria. that? Wisteria. Oh, so somebody just mentioned your Wisteria. And I'll paint your toenails. They're not done. They're not like, I mean you can, but they're not, I'm embarrassed at the state of my toenails. Do you know what I mean? Like I haven't clipped them in a while. Full disclosure on this show. What? Okay. Did you? I'll you really you want to do this? Sure. Somebody okay. asked those uh, are the nail polish gel polishes? No, they're not. They are this is called Get Naked. This is one of our more translucent. I'm so excited. One of our more translucent colors. Look at this. Yeah. Song. So if you want a more of a natural oh, look, I recommend Veil or Get Naked or Pink Slip. Or yeah, Peaches really, and Cream. Those are the the natural ones. Okay. You're going to see something you probably have never no, seen before. No, I don't want to show them if it's okay. bad. <laughs> when was the last time you saw someone painting someone's toenails live on uh, television? They're not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Oh, they're not bad at all. They look clean. Oh, they look nice. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's yeah, looking. Yeah, you have cute little toes. That's okay. what Jeff yeah. says. And, yeah. and you know what? Your toes, like, they go the right... Yeah. Zanny and I both have, like, a middle finger toe. 
Okay, well, yeah, you can't keep moving <laughs> around. <laughs> well, where should I put it? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Do you want to put your here. toe on my knee? Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm it's gonna take cold. You have cute toes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoops. Violet, you were surrounded by this color when you were a baby. Because I know. Everything you got was lavender or purple. And Camellia always got pink, which I resented. <laughs> <laughs> Camellias are pink. I yeah. know. White. But I prefer pink to purple. But this pink, I think, is too bright for my mood and complexion today. Well, this How am I is, doing? This um, is called flamingo. <laughs> This is a wonderful spring, so <laughs> a wonderful spring color. It is a coral. It was one of Suzanne's favorite toe colors. It's a great color for Flamingo. Sandy. Flamingo. It's fun on your toes. Mm -hmm. You know that um, when, when we were in Chicago for all those weeks, I, I painted uh, Suzanne's toes. This one, if you like something a little lighter, this is called melon and it looks, it really comes, it looks like cantaloupe. I think that's a great color for Camellia. It is a great wait, color. Zane, okay, wait. Here's some new information. He's not doing well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have new information lines. from Amy Simono. A long middle toe means you're the boss of your family. I have one. My husband doesn't stand a chance. Okay, I like that. Thank you, Amy. Wow. Yeah. I want you to see the difference Actually, between these two so blues because Alan frequently wears these two colors. And it, it helps if you can see them side by side. Pool is a more turquoise blue, and that is, it's more so of... Down. There you there go. Now to focus. Okay, so um, that is the one that Alan has on his toes right now. And cornflower blue has more of that periwinkle. You'd think it'd be corny, but it's not. No, they're both so beautiful. Again, great toe colors. I mean, some people are bold on their nails and they can pull it off. Um, but these are both wonderful. And then I'll show you. Caroline, uh, people are asking, like, well, how long does it last typically? Well, I, you'd be surprised at how long lasting and chip resistant these Well, I speak from personal experience. Are. Two months. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, you guys. Guaranteed. Yeah. No, but you've seen <laughs> Alan's toes and he hasn't. Painted his toe. He's had them that color for Zeta. two weeks. Now. This is crazy. Okay, this is what? called jacaranda. <laughs> which where's your nail? Oh, there it is. Can't see it. Jacaranda is the color of those beautiful jacaranda flowers that bloom only about this time. They, they bloom for about a month every year. You know, you can see we're getting a lot of love on the long toe. We is, we need me. to start a Facebook club. This is the difference with wisteria. Wisteria is barely yeah. lavender. Bad, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's, it's nice. Beautiful. It's nice. Okay, so, uh, it looks good on your nails. We, we've done, we've done See, one here. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> 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 not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not, not, not great. Too close. Just don't get too close. Yeah. <laughs> First when it's on your toe, you don't get too close unless you do a, what do you call it? Unless you're into that. Okay, so I... You want to? Okay, let's do it. I think we need a close up. <laughs> I want to remind you guys that twenty five percent off is for Zeta Tribe. Oh, isn't it? That's a. You're, you're looking at a cute toe. <laughs> yep. Painted by a kindergartner. Yeah. <laughs> Reminder, you guys, that um, everything on the website today is twenty five percent off with promo code Clean twenty five. Everything. And well, everything, unless it is already marked down more than 25%. Ah, uh, um, still so, a great deal. Yes, yeah, so you can do skin care, you can do body care, hair care. Uh, Sorry. Whoop. We have... <laughs> if you want to um, come off and come around here, I'm going to cook off the salt and boca. Sure. Okay, here we go. Um, what so you, you can get this great nail polish. You can get these beautiful Infusio okay. olive oils and vinegars. What did you call it, Carolyn? What do you mean? I have some freckles on these toes. It sounds sexy. Well, she is. <laughs> okay. This is nice and hot. Always preheat the pan. Preheating. I'm going to add some olive oil. <laughs> I forget that really people can hear all my little asides. <laughs> getting. Mm. I just want to 
put these in a single layer. I'm really going to need that fan. <laughs> yeah. How do you do the fan thing? I'll figure it out. I'm going to burn this place down. Isn't that a Beyonce song? Okay, fan. Bridge? It's got to be the bridge, right? Hey, Al. Yeah. How do you turn the fan on? How do you turn that fan on? What? How do you raise the fan? <laughs> what? That's the look of, I have no yeah. idea. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe open the door. I feel like there's a fan right there. There is. It's cold. It looks like it would be called bridge. It feels like it. Yeah. Oh, no, I can hear it now. Well, that one's gone. Yeah. We're okay. So, this is only going to take, uh, about two or the three minutes on each side. Um, and then I have this set aside here because I'm going to put them on here and keep them warm in the oven. The sauce also happens in the same pan, so it makes it, um, you, only, you only really mess up one pan. So everyone's getting a good view of mom's portrait up there as well. Oh, isn't that beautiful? She never liked it that much, but I mean, it's a, she loved the, the beauty of the painting, but she's like, does that look like me? It's hard to see a portrait of yourself. But yeah. as she had it for longer, then she came to appreciate what a beautiful piece of art it is. I love it. I can go show everyone. Okay. I think it looks like her. In kind of a pensive mode. Ready? Okay. Okay, so you can see how. You know, Bruce, if you're going to see the camera guy, there's action happening over here. Well, there's action here as well. Yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now we'll go to painted toes. There's the painted desert. Ever. Wow. Huh? Would you look at that? Look how great they are. Those are those are cute toes. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause. Yes. Nice Way job. to go, Zeta. Go Zeta. <laughs> so now we're matching. Okay. Here we so, are. You do have nice feet. This toe is curving a lot. You know what that's wrong? What? Wearing shoes that are too small. Oh, really? I think, you know what, I, I used to be, I thought, the size 11. Okay. I'm not an 11. I'm not like an 11 and a half or a 2. You know that Zanny told me once, I asked her what size she was, she said, I used to think shoes just hurt and that I was an eight, <laughs> but then seven. I realized I was I was an eight and a half or something. She was wearing a seven oh, when she I met her. She's yeah. an eight, yeah. yeah. I, she she was wearing she was it was a seven, and she was talking about gee my feet are I have to take my shoes off okay, and I thought that's very odd. Why would your feet be hurting? Okay, it was because she was an eight, and the last size she was was an eight and a half, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, growing and either my feet grew as an as like an older man, or they've changed shoe sizes. Because I generally wear like an eleven or an eleven and a half sometimes, and all my life I was a ten. Interesting. Uh, you know, a perfect ten. I was going to say. Well, <laughs> for women, your feet can change sizes when you get pregnant. That, oh, makes, that sense. makes sense. What's that? But have shoes when done what? Because oh. like in pants, like there's no way I, I'm like often wear a 32, which is what I wore in college. There's no way I'm still a 32, mm -hmm. and I think yeah. they're cheating on They pants. are because they know you like the brands where you wear a smaller. Size. Wrong answer, Caroline. It's true. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Women's six used to be. It, that is what a size zero is today. Really? It used to be if you had. A model's body, you would wear a size six. That was the sample size. Wow. It's now a zero. 
Jean Marie says feet and noses grow all your life. Well, we know that's true. Right? Why is it that certain parts of your body grow and certain parts of your body shrink? It's from the cold. Why I'm is cold. it? Why is it that you grow hair where you don't want it, right? Okay, and you lose hair where you do want it. This is nature's little trick. Yeah. Okay. It's a little trick. You know what? Sometimes nature is an a-hole. Noses really grow your whole life. Okay. He said it. I didn't say it. Nature. I said sometimes. Mother nature. I. He's the guy behind the camera. Okay. Come on over, I'll paint your toes. Okay, wait, if we had to assign one of these to each grandchild, what oh. would you do? Oh, great idea. Because this is Camellia to me, undisputably, so there's no dispute okay. left about that. That is what I just <laughs> so I think this would be Daisy. Okay, Daisy. Daisy. Okay. Which one is Daisy? This is... This one here. Oh, flamingo. Okay. This is Ari to me. Okay, oh, Ari. That. Ari. That's Zion, obviously. Okay. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> and now it's between Becky and me. Yeah. I think you're Jacaranda more than Wisteria. But this is very Beckett to me, too. No, this okay. is Beckett. Okay, Beckett. Okay. Well, and that's me today, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We did wow. it. I hope everyone at home is okay with that. Yeah. Salad. Wow. That I would love to say that I chopped all these vegetables, but I didn't. Michael did this. And this is, I mean, Suzanne and Alan eat this, used to eat this pretty much every night. Do you still like salad? Because you were never a huge salad guy, right? It depends on, like, I, I, I like, there's a, a salad that we get that's all greens. Yeah. It's like, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Green, but it's all green. I love that. I just yeah. eat it right out of the mm -hmm. box. So you don't like the salad? I do. You know, you know, I grew up having one of these things under my bed. Okay? Because there were 17 people living in my mother's boarding house and one toilet. Yeah. Get it? Alright. So this was under my bed. <laughs> So that if nature called during the night, can we go back to your bikini wax? That's, that's what would more you appealing. choose on this salad? Which one? Oh. Basil or lemon? They're both great. I know what I would choose. I'm, I'm gonna go put with this the basil. Yeah, yeah, me just too. To keep warm while basil. I do the sauce. I'm kind of a basil. Guy. We love these. If you're new here, these are the infused olive oils. So they have Infusio. different infusio. They have different flavors and essences infused in them. So this one's Meyer lemon, this one's basil. They make for great toppings on like salads or raw foods, not as much for cooking, because they're really nice. So, you know, I'd like to know the etymology of uh, Meyer lemon. Was it some guy grew a tree? Right. Mm -hmm. And he said to his friend, what are we gonna call it? And the friend said, it's your tree. Meyer. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Ma Meyer lemon. Yeah. Okay. I need another. Or did somebody say, was this lemon yours or Meyer? <laughs> I love Meyer lemons. Yeah. And by the way, you know, I planted all these uh, fruit trees and nut trees up and down the driveway. Uh huh. And uh, over a year ago, last February, and nothing happened. All of a sudden, in one week, they all have little buds and flowers on them. Wow. They're all happening. We're going to have the Kara. Orange tree is loaded. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. Okay. If every little red, uh, white thing and flower turns into an orange, the poor tree is going to be going, I can't <laughs> hold all this stuff up. That sounds like something to look forward to. Yeah. I used to, years ago when we bought our other house, yeah, 50 hold years all ago, this stuff up. it had a, a lemon tree called the Ponderosa. And the Ponderosa lemon tree, I'm not exaggerating, has lemons like that, they were like basketballs, basketballs, and the branches would hang on the ground because it couldn't support the fruit. And I used to pick one and send it to my mother every year, and she would keep it in the refrigerator, and whenever she needed some lemon, she'd dig out a little bit of lemon, and it lasted her all throughout the winter in Canada. 
Because she kept it outside and it kept cold or something? No, she kept it in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I remember being in Toronto with your mother and um, during the winter, she just kept everything outside. It was colder than the fridge. Yeah, that's what they did in Germany. Well, she, yeah. she called it a summer kitchen. Okay. The, the outside? Yeah, it was a summer kitchen, but she didn't keep stuff there in the summertime. Right. Well, she did. I stuff like... The oranges and potatoes and you know stuff like that. Apples. Who in your family made cheese? Didn't that someone in your family? Two two made cheese. My uncle Ivor. Ivor, okay. Ivor, Ivor. He, he made a cheddar cheese. He had big fifty pound wheels of cheese, and I worked in his warehouse uh, one for one summer vacation, and he gave me this long rod that was like a, a pencil, but it was hollow. And that's how you tested the whether the cheddar was ready, whether it had the right oil content. So you would dig into the middle and turn it a little bit and pull it out, and then just take the bottom and rub it in your fingers, okay? And you could test whether the it was ready. And the best part of a 50-pound wheel of cheddar, and you butchers know this, is the middle five pounds right in the center. Sounds and my other cousin who made cheese, he made, he had a cave, and he would make a fresh, um, what do they call that white fresh cheese? Uh, ricotta? Uh, Not ricotta. Mozzarella? Uh, a cottage cheese. Oh, cottage cheese. He okay. would make cottage cheese and cream cottage cheese, and every Friday he'd come to my mother's house with two cloth bags with fresh cheese. Yum. It was great. And Uncle Ivor had... His side of his truck said, eggs from contented hens. And he, my mother would buy 30 dozen at a time. I remember Ivor and Gertie used to have that basement where they kept all the fruit and the cheese and the wine. And there was one time where David, Stephen, and I, David was our cousin, and Stephen and I went down there. It was the middle of the night, and we, I have a picture of us. We are like in jeans, we had our shirts off because it must have been summer. We ate so much fruit that our stomachs were so bloated. <laughs> it looked like we were pregnant. Yeah. I had an uncle that had an incredible fruit store. Small. It wasn't any bigger than this area right here. But he had incredible fruit. And I would, uh, I'd get there, I'd stop in there most days of the week. And Who's this? He, my Uncle Albert. Oh, okay. I'd stop in there several days every week, and he'd say, what do you want? I don't nothing. I just stopped in to say hello. And I always left with an apple or a pear or a tangerine or an orange. Wow. Yeah, my family was in the food business. And then uh, one of my cousins was in the alcohol business, and he always had a cigar in his mouth that wasn't lit. It was always like that, and, you know, with his teeth. And, and every so often he'd light it and smoke it. And when it get down to that, he would put it in his cheek. Was it, was the, did he sell, like, was he an importer of alcohol or did he make alcohol? Tobacco. You said, you said alcohol, no? Did he say alcohol business? Okay. Your dad is hearing stuff. So. Yeah. I said yeah. tobacco, he heard alcohol. Oh, uh, okay. That's like I said tomato and he said tomato. Yeah. Okay. He was a tobacco dealer. Ah. Wholesale. He was a wholesale tobacconist. So where did he get his tobacco from? Did he grow it or did he? No, he never grew it. He didn't it. grow it. No. Well, no, he didn't grow it. Was there, were there big tobacco farms in Canada? Because tobacco is, I guess. There were. As a matter of fact, matter of fact, I have a story about it. Hey, well, bring us home because okay. we got five minutes. Okay. Yeah, and I have to do the salt for you too. So my first, my first real girlfriend, first real girlfriend, was this Polish girl who won the Miss Southwestern Ontario Beauty Pageant. Okay, and wait, hold that thought. Cindy oh, come on, Q Bruce, girl I'm in the of my story. He did say alcohol, LOL. What? <laughs> Donna, I heard alcohol too. <laughs> well, you and Bruce are both wrong. You know what? We, if, if roll tape. This looks so 
Jared said he said alcohol too. Look what's happening over here. Come get this. Okay. So that okay. Alan can finish his story over here. All right, Al, keep talking. Yeah, Alan, roll your chair around. Okay, so we're listening. I had my, my first. <laughs> My first real girlfriend, okay? So what constitutes as a real girlfriend? <laughs> well, I, I, I can't go into... I'm going to use the black cherry balsamic. Today. Black cherry. Yeah, I'm talking about my first girlfriend. You're talking about something. Hey, it's a tough, it's a tough <laughs> crowd, man. Yeah. Yeah. One of them pays money, one of them doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I had, I had this wonderful girl. I was 18 years old. I was living in a, another city. I moved away from home for a job that I had. And I ran into her. And uh, so we were together a lot. And I had a little apartment. And we cooked dinner every night. And she you had an apartment at 18? Yeah. Wow. It, it was, it, I wouldn't call it an apartment. It was like an apartment. It was, an apartment. It was, it was a closet. It was like, it was, it was new. We had a nookie hut. <laughs> What does that mean? Nookie is another word for you know what. <laughs> no. <laughs> for, for getting jiggy with it. Oh. <laughs> anyway. So I, she, she was my first girlfriend. I really liked her a lot. And her parents owned a tobacco farm oh. in southwestern Ontario. This time you said tobacco. And... And on weekends, we would go out there, and I'd work in the tobacco fields. And at the end of the day, my hands would be orange from handling the tobacco plants. Really? Yeah. I, I did what they called priming. The I think they called it priming, which taking the bottom leaf off so that the top could grow bigger and better. Oh, uh, sort of like gr uh, green pruning in the wine business. They do that with wine. They do. Yeah, they, they'll prune it back so that the yield is stronger. Anyhow, it's... So it wasn't a great story, okay? Look at this. Well, we made it great because we interrupted you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Get some pictures. Here. Okay, you come This up. looks great. Look at this. Damn. We just warmed this black cherry balsamic because all the work is done for you. You guys saw how fast that was for me to make. It looked pretty easy behind these guys doing a great show, right? It takes a little bit of prep, so I obviously didn't show you the little bit of prep that I did. But if you ask a butcher to pound the chicken piccata for you, that makes it a little easier. But it's fast, and Suzanne used to call this a uh, one of her fast and easy meals because she loved a hot and fast meal, and she loved using the drippings on the bottom of the pan. Look at how good this is. I'm, such a zany. I, I really can't wait to eat. My Me mouth neither. is watering. Because yeah. we didn't have lunch. I know. So here we go. I think you guys should have a bite while you're there yeah. on camera. Okay. Knife I'm so excited. And fork. Alan. Um, Violet, this one is yours, honey. Thank you. So is this mine? Yes. Oops. Okay. Sorry. Just By the way, these plates. In 1999, I commissioned an artist in Toronto uh, a, a year in advance of Suzanne's birthday to create a service for 20. How many in a, in a service? Five? Usually it's five. Oh, well, yeah. Five? Okay. <laughs> and I said to him, every single wow. piece has to be different, okay? And these are some of the plates that he created. It took, him a, it took him a year. Wow. These are some of the plates he created. Well, why don't you That's special. slide your chairs down here and we can sign off while you eat at this beautiful... All right, why don't you... Right here. Right here, then. The artist's name was Hugo Quatraoche. He was Brazilian. Okay. And I think that means Hugo Forres. Right? Quattro Oce? It's for something. I really want to go to Brazil. Okay, come over here, Al. I'm putting you right here. This is crazy good. Mm -hmm. 
all these textures. You get a nice firm density from the chicken, softness of the puree, and then the crisp, the crispiness of the prosciutto, and all these different flavors. The prosciutto is salty. What the great squash is, is sweet. The sage is tart. Oh, Francesco Bosco knows the artist that you just mentioned. Really? Wow. Yeah. Francesco's I know him. He designed colored squares in the desert. Wow. Yeah. Which desert? Which desert, Francesco? Francesca. Sorry. I, I love that we have. This is like our dinner joking? with you guys. We love our friends. We love that you guys join us and hang out with our family. I was joking. This is so good. Do you want to taste some wine, honey? No, thank you. Well, great. Wow. Damn. Outside of Las Vegas. Wow. That's what Francesca yeah, says. Mm -hmm. We can always count on Francesca with the little tidbits here <laughs> to correct us. Thank you, Francesca. <laughs> so we have our choice of the Infusio oils and balsamics on this beautiful salad. Mm -hmm. And we're going to... This is heavenly. You, Zanny. This is a, such a Zanny dinner, isn't it? I know. All right. Um, All right. We love you guys. Love Thanks you. for joining us. The promo code today is CLEAN25. And anything that is not already discounted more than 25% is available to you at this discount. So nail polish, skin care, body care, hair care, the great hair products, the supplements. And we're coming back to you on Friday. Mm. Thanks, everyone. Mm. Heidi wants a bite. <laughs> Good night, everybody. God bless you. Good night. Wow, this is crazy good. Thank you. So long.